shit I did. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute. Okay, so this is going to be volume four. The last shit I did was five months ago. That feel when you don't dig shit for five months. Last time I kind of touched base with you, um, I did the interviewing Papa Brick video, which was three weeks ago. Um, but other than that, the last time you kind of heard about anything that I'd been listening to is my Frank Zappa video. And, um, yeah, like, yeah, nothing's changed. Well, actually, yeah, one thing that I dug is Dweezil Zappa. And, um, there's gonna be a link in the description. He has, what is it? It's not a Kickstarter, it's not a Patreon, it's not a GoFundMe. It's the one where you can buy, like, merch. He's basically fighting for the right to use his legal birth name, Zappa, when he plays his music. He wants to be able to use it, but there's family feuding going on. I'm going to make another video about it, but just wanted to say that. It's going to be in the description. Check it out if you like the Zappa. If, if you like Dweezil <laughs> and Frank. So I guess we're going to talk about what I dug this past five months. I'm gonna start off with vinyl because I have my grandpa's turntable. I talked about it in my Frank Zappa dream video and I wanted to go buy some Frank on vinyl and I got, you guys have already seen this, but I did have, I do have uh, One Size Fits All and Overnight Sensation. Overnight Sensation. On Overnight Sensation, my fave, really loving I'm the Slime, Camarilla Brillo, Montana. Montana, I think is my favorite on that album. Off of One Size Fits All, my favorite is Inca Roads, 100%. So as far as other Frank, after that, and I got this, which is kind of a different sort of style for Frank. It's like orchestral favorites, so it's like instrumental, and it's just a really cool album to just put on and just jam it's a, it's a very creative juices flowing album like I need just a little bit of like chaotic instrumentation and then literally on Saturday last Saturday a couple days ago I finally picked up Hot Rats which I'm really excited about I have a thing where I really kind of would prefer to buy used vinyl I just really like the concept of it was somebody else's and you know you're keeping it rolling and please look at how fucking cool the inside of this is. This album is so fucking incredible to me. Um, Peaches and Regalia, just like that first fucking three seconds of the song, it just, it's so charging. It's such a cool album. Then I picked up for one dollar at this cool record place, the seventh Sojourn? Sojourn? My favorite song on the album is Isn't Life Strange. That song to me is so beautiful. And then we also have to close the album out. I'm just a singer in a rock and roll band, which is like the banger on the album. <laughs> that song is really cool and fun. And then this is not one that I bought, but it's a pass down from my grandpa. It's my grandpa's favorite album of all time, Joe Cocker, Mad Dogs and Englishmen. I always hear stories about my grandpa would like open every window in their house and he would blast this so loud on their stereo system that it would just like go across the whole lake. And if you like blues, rhythm and blues, rock and roll, this is a, a staple. And then also finally, holy shit, finally, been my favorite band, which I don't know if I can say anymore now that Frank has entered my life. So important to me. Pink Floyd got me through high school and was my favorite band for years and years and years. Still is, you know. But I've never, never had vinyl, never had Pink Floyd vinyl. So Animals is my first of the collection, which is really cool. This is a really good uh, political album <laughs> right now. <laughs> so if you want something to make you think. And then uh, literally in the same day uh, that I got Animals, I was searching through this bin. This guy had a really cool taste in music. You can tell, I can just tell right away. Like if I see like the Partridge Family and Sonny and Cher, 
and like Bobby Darren, I'm probably not going to look through that stack of vinyls because it's probably not going to have what I'm looking for. So anyways, I found a Captain Beefheart record. It's Captain Beefheart in the Magic Band, which I was listening on Spotify and I like can't find this on Spotify. I don't know, but first track, Lil Yo Yo stuff. Second track, Nowadays, A Woman's Gotta Hit a Man. Really cool harmonica on it. Just a cool record. Um, I was excited right away when I put it on. It's just like one of those things where it felt like an old friend. It was like something like, yes, this is kind of right on the path of what I've been really liking to listen to right now. And then also I picked up Mahavishnu Orchestra, Birds of Fire. I've been really trying to get into kind of the essential classics, staples, instrumentation at its best. So when I saw this, I think I got it for a dollar. All right, so next down the line, I'll, I'll talk about more music later from like my Spotify that I've been listening to, but um, we'll do that later. So I read a book in January and um, I always tell myself I'm gonna read more. However, I did manage to make it through this whole entire book in like less than a month, which for me is incredible. Not that I'm a slow reader, just that I lack commitment. It's Howard Stern's Miss America. I grew up also listening to Howard Stern. My dad always had him on the radio. And I just have such a huge respect for Howard. I just think he's a very real, no bullshit kind of person, which is hard to find nowadays. I read a book. And speaking of Howard, um, another favorite of mine is I got the Sirius Radio app. It's been so nice listening to Howard on the way to work when I wake up, and it's just not a phony asshole. I'm so sick of phony assholes. Um, so, oh shit, another thing I've literally been living for. Living for. For the longest time, Riel's wanted me to watch this movie, and I finally fucking watched Gone Girl. It's in my top five favorite movies of all time. Um, something that really helped me pick up the movie finally in the end was I rewatched Fight Club, realized how much I loved David Fincher. I mean, I always knew I liked it, but you know, I watched, last time I watched Fight Club was probably ninth grade and I kind of just thought it was cool and like, yeah, this is a cool movie. But now I have a respect for how a film is made and shots and all that bullshit. And so rewatching it was like, re-sparked that light, that fire for me for David Fincher. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch Gone Girl. And also Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross did the music and I love, love, love their soundtrack work. I loved soundtrack on Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. That's my shit. Amazing. Rosamund Pike is amazing. She's amazing. Okay, so I've been listening to all kinds of shit on Spotify recently. If you don't follow me on Spotify, follow me on Spotify. Uh, I'm pretty sure my username, my username, Sean Connery is here. My username is Dubrick House, D-A-B-R-I-C-K-H-A-U-S. Follow me on Spotify. I'll try to link it in the description. I don't know if you can link a Spotify playlist. I'm sure you can. Don't be a fool. Do that in the description. Follow me on Spotify. You can watch what I'm listening to. You can laugh when I'm listening to Work From Home by Fifth Harmony at the gym because that shit bumps. So, Studio Killers. I don't know if, um, you're familiar, but... Studio Killers are sort of a band kind of like the Gorillas in the sense where they don't show the band's actual faces. I think they did track down the lead singer, which is a man. And I was shook and blown away when I found out that it was a man because the vocals are very uh, feminine. But I, I love it even more now that it's a man. I, I find it like sexy. I don't know. I'm having all kinds of emotions about this band and this song um the one that's really doing it for me is ode to the bouncer it's such a cool song love the lyrics i just love it Rides. They also have a really cool song called All Men Are Pigs. I'm trying to say
true. It's so funny, for the longest time, my Spotify like most played artist was Frank Zappa, Studio Killers. <laughs> like, me. Um, another band I've been totally, this is the coolest story ever. This lady at my work that is my mom's age, total hippie lady. We somehow connected, found out that we were both Grateful Dead fans. And like, once you find another deadhead, you're like, mm. it's such a cute old, like true hippie connection. Like some people are fucking weirdos and that's just life, but she's a true deadhead that has a really great taste in music. And she's like, Hannah, you need to listen to this band. And she wrote it on the back of a receipt. I actually am pretty sure I have the receipt. Live in the garden, picking on shots, and we aim for the darkness. Make it get hot for a target. Kids cook s'mores off the crotch of a target. Kumbaya, bitch. Amazing. That whole album is amazing. If you need a new workout album, Run the Jewels 3. Shit's incredible. Um, this next song is also incredible. I actually discovered it off of the Gorillas have a playlist that they made that Noodle made. And so I, th I think it's still up on the Spotify Gorillas page of of some of Noodle's favorite songs. And this song is called Shejuan by Fatima al Kadiri. I hope I'm saying that right too, but oh my god. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> That song's really cool, and then there's another song called Hip Hop Spa. Like, ugh. Then I've really been listening to this song, which is like a fucking throwback. Love Fat Boy Slim. Um, Funk Soul Brother was one of my first ringtones on my phone. But this is Praise You by Fat Boy Slim. <laughs> song really good pussy power song which you know I'm down for is straight out of vagina by pussy riot featuring Desi Mo iconic and then another really incredible song that Spotify came through with me I'm pretty sure my Discover Weekly playlist gave it to me because I have been listening to Life of Pablo for a while and Father Stretch My Hands samples this song and the song is called Like a Ship by Pastor T.L. Barrett and the Youth for Christ Choir sings. This song is literally touching, beautiful, magical, soulful. Where would we be without black music? Nowhere. Chills, goosebumps, you name it. Like, that is so beautiful to me. That's music right there, dude. Music that is made just to make people feel good and have a good time playing it. Like, that's, that's music, dog. 
thanks for being patient with me. Uh, I just haven't been feeling like, I don't know. I don't know what I want to make anymore. And, but I felt the magic today. That's what it sounds like when you get that creative spark back in your life. To fucking rejoice. So thank you for being a friend. Bye. Oh, oh,